Hello. This is a video on the Rombi cuboctahedron. In this Archimedean solid series, I'm showing how we can use the five platonic solids to derive the 13 Archimedean solids. Across the top here, we have the five platonic solids. Five of the Archimedean solids can be found by truncation, two can be found by rectification, and two can be found by expansion. And this is what I would like to look at in this video. I'm going to show how we can expand the cube or expand the octahedron to get the rhombi cube octahedron. This is the rhombi cube octahedron, sometimes called the small rhombi cube octahedron. You'll notice that the faces are squares and triangles. Let's see what it means to expand. I'm here at the Truncate Expand Snubify website. And let's scroll down to the section on expansion. We can expand any of the five platonic solids. And I'm going to go ahead and expand, first of all, the cube. What's going to be happening here is we're going to be taking each edge and we're going to be pulling that edge apart. Watch as I use the slider the edge gets pulled apart. So I have expanded this slightly. This edge has become two edges. Also notice that each vertex gets pulled apart. So here's the cube and as I expand, actually what we should do in order to get a Archimedean solid is expand all the way until these become squares. I don't know if they really quite look like squares in this rendering but they should be squares. Now let's go ahead and expand the octahedron and you'll see that we get the same shape. Here's the original octahedron made up of eight triangles and if we pull apart the edges we get the rhombi cube octahedron. It's very interesting to compare these two because in this case, as we pull the edges apart, the original triangular sides remain triangular sides. The new face that was between the edges is always a rectangle turning into a square in expansion. And then we also get some faces from the original vertices. In this case, the vertices turn into squares. Whereas, if we return to the cube, the original sides stay as squares, the edges turn into squares, and the vertices turn into the corners. Either way, we get the same shape. Here on the left, we have the original cube, vertex degree 3, four sides on each face, six faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. Now I'd like to figure out these numbers here for the rhombi cube octahedron. There are going to be three types of faces and I'm making the following suggestions. Have type 1 be the original faces. The original faces were red squares and they're going to continue to be red squares. So N1 should be 4 because they're four-sided figures. Type 2 is going to come from pulling the edges apart. When this edge gets pulled apart, we get this square face here. So that will give you N2. And finally, type 3 will come from pulling the vertices apart. When we expand, this vertex becomes a triangle. Notice that the type 1 and type 2 faces in the rhombi cube octahedron are actually the same type. Pause the video now and answer these questions. For extra practice, you can do the same thing by expanding the octahedron. Have a great day.